Hello, in this video we'll talk about program flow in Maxima. You can automate many uh, analysis in Maxima using uh, four while loops and logical um, comparisons with if else uh, constructs. So let's start with a for loop. So if I want uh, some counter A to go through uh, from 1 to 10, say in steps of 1, um, I will build a for loop um, with this syntax. So this is the counter, this is the where it starts, where it ends, and this step. And whatever you put after the do here is what you um, expect your calculation to do. So I'm just showing the number the counter uh, takes here in the iterations of the for loop. So if I want to change this step, say for two, 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 something like this, if I alter the beginning, something like this. So that's the basic syntax for a for loop. You see it ends um, when you finish your uh, statements here. So for example if you want to populate a list, we start with an empty list and then we make a for loop say from 1 to 10 with a step of 3 and what I'll do is that I, uh, it, at every iteration I take the list and add it the current value of the counter something like this and if I show this list now it has all the elements that I um, gave here to the counter variable. And obviously I can make other, other sort of logics to populate lists in much more elaborated ways. So let's say you have a function and you want to calculate derivatives, partial derivatives, with respect to a list of variables. So if I have a function like this of three variables, simple polynomial again, and I have a list of variables which I can build like this and I want again to calculate sequentially and automatically the partial derivatives of this function with respect to each of these variables so I can again use a for loop um, for that so I start with a summation variable here I have a counter. Let's give this name th to it. I can go through all the elements of this list of variables like so and keep adding to m this some variable d all the partial derivatives of my function with respect to the current value of my list of variables something like so. And there is my uh, sum. If I get rid of this value of t, let's say you have two other functions, these two um, g and h of the same uh, variables, and I want to do something similar, calculate all the partial derivatives with, with respect to this list of variables. Um, I can also make a, a list of functions, something um, like this. So I have a list of variables uh, here and my list of functions. So this is my first one, second and third one. There you go. I can build something like a Jacobian matrix using the idea of a embedded uh, for loop. So I can first go through 
all my variables and inside this loop I can go through all my functions note that the for loop only ends when you finish your statement so I can say that my element of my Jacobian is given by the partial derivative of this function with respect to this variable and I can have my Jacobian matrix like so if I want a Hessian matrix I'll just go here and take the second order derivative or something like that um, another example let's say you have some expression I'll just build a quick one with the Taylor expansion sorry something like this and so you have any expression um, in terms of some variable and you want to um, identify all the coefficients of this variable in different powers so you can see that we have three um, terms in this expression we'll have to go to each one identify what is the power of the variable in this term and extract the the coefficient of that so let's say I have the number of uh, arguments of this expression so I have the list of these arguments so each one of these um, terms in my expression is now one member of this list list of list of arguments LA and I want to calculate the list of coefficients so I'll just start it as zero and calculate it later so again I can use a for loop to go through all the uh, terms in this in this expression or I could write it like this and what I will do is I will populate my list of coefficients by using the coef function from maxima and I'll go to my list of arguments and check what is the coefficient in this term of my um, variable x for example so I'll get first x to the power of 1 then x to the power of 3 then x to the power of 5 I'm going from 2 to 2 here something like this so if I get my list of coefficients it's there as I want and finally uh, one example using uh, if uh, constructs for a logical operand so it's very simple if I have uh, two symbols or two numbers I want to compare I can just use it like this and I can give a test so if this is true then I will do this statement if not I'll do this other statement so obviously it gives me the correct answer um, if I want something to be different I use this symbol I can also use the equal function from maxima to compare two symbols or two expressions and you can use um, other sort of logical operands and things like this